Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yo-Kai Watch and summer's not over yet. Yeah. And the game has the lamest reason for bringing back the Yo-Kai by the way, but we'll get to that soon and so hot. As I'm playing this in the middle of winter, it seems kind of, well actually the beginning of winter really. And you're right about that, but we can't just sit around and swelter. They say a clear mind can make fire feel cool. You must stay sharp. Easier said than done, dude, when it's 90, yeah, well not 90, probably 100 is more like it in Japan, and you're the one being lazy, and you were loafing around it seems, even the whisper can't really loaf and all that, but saying that's a quality of bread, ha ha ha, joke, and this hot weather brings back memories that fateful day when I said goodbye, Nate, and left the human world. Nice job on sidestepping my observation of your laziness. <laughs> I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. He just completely ignored me and Nate, don't think it's a bit strange. Thanks to Lucas acting as a intermediary, we were able to return. But we had to wait a long time for the elevator to open up again. Even after all that waiting, it's still summer break for you, human children. How could a break be so long? What kind of vacation is this? <laughs> yeah, it never ends. And I guess we human children are just lucky when it comes to breaks. Yeah, let's just completely ignore all sense of reason in this <laughs> game, and perhaps, well, I have an idea about what we can use all of this time for. As you may know, it's quite the ordeal getting back here. While overcoming said ordeal, one of the seals may have been weakened. Really? The seal around the infinite inferno is the one I'm speaking of, specifically. They say it's the yokai world, but nary a soul can find it. To make it even worse, the yokai sealed there even awoke. Well, that yokai would be more than capable of destroying the human world. So I thought maybe addressing that would be a good use of your break. Oh boy, and according to my yokai intel, a very wealthy human has some sort of info on this. Come on, Nate, let's go ask around. That's all your intel? A wealthy person has info on a destructive yokai? Well, that's all I have for now. Come, you saved two worlds already. You know the drill. The reopening of the elevator has drawn even stronger yokai to the human world. All we need to do is befriend them and explore the inferno. Little by little, this world is going to save itself. Let's get started. Well, if you say so, I'm in. And thus begins the post game of Yokai Watch. Yeah. Our only objective is to freely explore the city and eventually take down that extremely powerful yokai. And can I be the one to say, wow. Level 5 gave us a lot to do, but the first thing we need to do is unlock the rank S yokai watch. And to do this, guess what? We're heading back to timers and more again. Sadly, this is the last time I'm going to be here, man. Once you upgrade this watch, it's pretty much that's it. This is the final test, and I've been looking forward to this one. I'll go into details as soon as I agree to make my day and take it. All right, sure, I'll take on the final quest, and all right. Now, as per usual, you're going to have to defeat some yokai. This is the final test. You know what that means. Final. That means the yokai watch will read its heights of rank. That's right. Meaning you'll be able to tangle the strongest yokai. Amazing! If we pass this test, we'll be able to detect all yokai. Yes, all yokai ever. Crazy, hon. Huh? Of course. This will be your most dangerous chest yet. You up to it? Uh, sure, but didn't you say test instead of chest? Anyways, and our team of yokai friends will work together. I'm sure we'll be okay. I guess we'll see what you can do with your yokai pals, huh? For the final test, you're gonna go to the yokai world. You must defeat three foes. Impasse on Liar Mountain, Hapak on Hooligan Road, and Tim Devil in Hunger Pass. Those are your targets this time. What do you think? Tough opponents, huh? Been for the final test, I'd say. Oh dear. They certainly promise to be exceptionally strong adversaries. Let us steal ourselves for this unique and challenging... Uh, challenge. Yeah, ni nice uh, speech there. So yes, we have to go back to the yokai world to basically max out our yokai watch. The problem is, these adversaries are without a doubt the strongest. Now I know I kind of kicked McCracken's butt, but these guys are going to be exceptionally strong. But going back to the yokai world in the post game is highly recommended, especially if you have yokai such as Draggy and maybe Frostina. I recommend it. Also. This is how you get the Crank Kai back. I never 
notice this, or actually, no, I noticed it, I didn't mention it before, so I'm going to bring it up right now. All you have to do is press that button, and it'll be the Crank Kai machine. Now, this is the first thing I want to make note of. Currently, my team is mostly S, A, and B rank yokai. However, off screen, I will finally be doing this. I will, where the heck are my coins? They should be in items, yeah. I'm going to be using red coins to basically get a yokai that I want on my team. However, it is extremely rare. If you want this same yokai, I have a video which I'll put an annotation up on screen, how to rig it and basically get infinite red coins. I recommend you do this because he is very, very helpful. And ignore the this item, by the way. We'll get into what that does when I actually recruit stinking Noko. God, it's so annoying, but yeah, I just thought I'd make mention of that for the time being though. Let's get the Yokai Elevator back, because we need it back, to go to the Yokai world and max out our watch. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of side quests available to us here in the Yokai world, and I know we've seen this animation a million times. I haven't brought this up yet, but you can skip events by just pausing. It's very, very nice. I love games that do that, because I mean, yeah, some cutscenes are cool and stuff, but only like the first time you see them. I don't know, that's my opinion, but... You may disagree, and that's totally fine, because everyone has an opinion, and really none of them are wrong. But yes, in the yokai world, you may remember we went to those three areas. Well, we went to one involuntarily, but the other two we went and showed off. Now, there's going to be a very long side quest in this game. It basically revolves around you getting select items from yokai. Now, there are yokai, such as Cyan Snake, that make getting drops a whole lot easier. If you're looking for him, he's right over in this area. He's not too hard to get. In short, we are going to need four items, which are incredibly rare from Yokai, and I will be showing off these Yokai when we get to them, but I will warn you, without Cyan Snake, it is a very tedious process, and I will be doing this periodically when we're, you know, just exploring the post game. It is a pain in the butt though, but to get a yokai I want to get is pretty much my only goal We have to do it. So that's what we'll be doing and over here. There's an S gate We'll be touching on that later on basically. Oh man. I do not want to fight you There are yokai that can only be gotten once you have an S rank yokai. They're sort of like little mini bosses and Hello there. Um, I'll get to you in a second, but yeah, we really really want to get all of those eventually. I'm gonna show them off, but the problem is recruiting them is really, really tricky. But here we have our first S rank yokai quest. Now you're gonna notice we're not currently S rank, but we can still do this with Blazaria. You who? You there? Say, what do you think of my hair clip? Well, it's a fine hair clip, I must say. It looks splendid on you. <laughs> I know. But I've actually got an extra hair clip here. Would you like to have it? If not, I'll probably just toss it. That's far too wasteful. Please let us have it. I suppose it would be wasteful, but I wonder if it's useful to you. Yes, it is. Please give it to me. It's actually quite a powerful artifact. An average person can't handle it. Is that so? I wonder if we're strong enough for it. Let's try something. If you defeat me in battle, I'll let you have the hair clip. If you can beat me, you should be able to handle it. What do you think? Now, this battle is tough. My yokai, as strong as they are, we may still struggle in this, but yes, we will take Blazaria on this challenge, and oh, you're a brave one. Bear in mind that I won't hold back. Talk to me again when you're ready. We are ready right now, so this quest was not available to us during the main game. This is a post-game only event, and I really, really want to complete it, because it will let me transform one of my yokai, and you can probably guess which one of those it is, and remember, I'm not going to take it easy. Here we go! So this fight, best of luck. It really helps to have a fire yokai, but honestly, I'm just, whoa, Shogun Yun actually did way more damage than I thought he would. So really all we need to worry about is Blizzaria. These Frostina are not the main threat here. We're just gonna get our Sultiman attack off. Komain does a lot of damage with his spirit attack. So hopefully after his spirit burst is done, we can do some damage and then just finish him off. What I like to do is I like to go for the smaller units because they're going to have way less health. We actually need to get Komain out of there. He comes in spirit. Luckily, Blizzar... Mmm, that's not cool. Luckily, she's not going for her strongest attack, which I'm totally fine with. And Appak just got hit with it, as I said that. Okay, so here's the uh, issue. Yeah, late game, 
Yokai do a lot of damage. A lot of damage, guys. So I'm gonna have to grind up and everything. This is basically the point of post game, though. They give you all these challenges. So, you know, you don't burn through the game really quickly and it's hot out. Yeah, it's gonna get hotter and I really need to purify uh, Komain. But yes, I'm going to be doing a lot of work to basically make this as entertaining as possible because I want to show off these really cool boss fights. But the issue is, yeah, they're a little bit on the tough side. So now that we've taken... Oh, wow, Komain literally just did 200 damage. I'm okay with that. And as a reward, we will get the hair clip that I oh so desire because it will make one of my yokai transform and holy wow you're so strong with strength like that you can certainly handle my old hair clip oh yes finally with this hair clip I'll become as cute as a doesn't matter that I don't have hair to clip this for cracks me up dude I knew that was going into this deal no confound by my own shiny beautiful bald head oh well I guess we'll just give it to another yokai Yes, and I'll appreciate it if you give it to a yokai who's as cute like me. Understood. We'll only fuse it with a yokai that is cute. Are you saying Whisper's not cute? Anyways, we will get the Glacial Clip, which will let Frostina transform, which we will do shortly. But yes, one quest down. There's actually a lot of these in the yokai world that we can actually do, and I'm going to try and knock those all out in this episode because... Yeah, we really want to complete them. It's really sad for me to say, but... Oh, hello, Cupistal, and... Oh... Guess that was not who he was looking for. Uh, got a boo, which means no reward. Sad as that is to say, but... Yeah, there's another quest down there we can do, but I also want to make mention... There is a yokai up on top of this cake. I think it's this cake, it might be the other one. He is tough, and... To show that content off to you guys, I'm going to have to be changing my team up a lot. It's either I grind at, like Apac and you know my rank A yokai to an extreme level, or I swap them out for S ranks. I know that's sad to say, but Yokai Watch is kind of one of those games where it's like if it's not helpful to you anymore, you kind of have to get rid of it. We'll be hanging on to Venok and probably Casanova for a while, but Shogunyun is definitely a permanent member and. For a while, Frostina will be as well, so just keep that in mind. Everyone else, though, I can't really promise. And let's heal up before... Nah, we, we'll be fine. Venok doesn't even need to fight, because the next S-Rank challenge is with Everfore, and what's this? Wrinkles of shame on that lovely white skin. Wait, wait, wrinkles on my taut, sleek, shiny white skin? Yes, there, around the eyes. Small, but they hint at a wrinkle-filled future. You shrivel up like an ancient prune. You'll be a pruny rel- Hey, that's really mean and no! A prune? That's awful! Whoever heard of a white prune? I don't want to be a pruny white face staring back at me in the mirror! <laughs> I can see you're taking the news rather badly. But not to worry. Defeat me in battle, I'll teach you an anti-aging secret. Or rather, I'll give you a special beautifying item. <laughs> I want it! Master, I want it! We must defeat her, so I become the great <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't become a prune, man. I gotta get this anti-aging kick. You're too young to be worried about such things, but mom understands. <laughs> okay, and... <gasps> well, what do you do? Fight and help to see your soup be pruny butt. Yeah, we'll kick your butt for whispers sake, and... <laughs> Thank you, gonna feed me with my soft, silky skin. You're not that pretty late. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie. This is... <laughs> the powder of youth. Versus this, uh... Yokai, and if you're gonna figure it out, this is another event in which we defeat these Grumples and the Everfore. We can get this item. So, yet again, if you fuse, well, Grump, oh, I got really getting tired of these Yokai always inflicting a spirit on me. And are you serious? That one's even worse. Do not. Oh, I hit Shogunyun. Okay, this is slowly being terrible. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, if we combine the item that we get for beating these yokai and battle we can combine them and i'm just gonna go with frostina's sultimate it's a little bit on the risky side because she is not the highest hp we can get an item that will let us fuse which is really really cool and i want to get this off hopefully snow sherbert will do some good damage it's not the highest rank though but that's okay and i'm going to try and okay we got that sweet so we can use it again even though no i'm going i'm gonna stop i'm gonna break that habit right now i'm gonna heal frostina first and oh god Everyone is not doing so hot in this fight. Maybe I should have healed up, and we really need to get Shogun Yum back in here because he is a legendary yokai after all. Yeah, just saying. Okay, let's heal up 
Apac really quickly. I don't want to chase waste <laughs> chase my really expensive foods though because we're going to be needing those to recruit yokai in the future and well it is pretty easy to get money in this game as all you have to do is battle yokai that are under leveled and you can just completely like wreck them okay co-main dodge nice let's let the torrent slash come out though but as i was saying yeah there's a lot of yokai in this game that i want to try and grab are we going to be able to get all of them most likely not catching them all so to say is incredibly difficult and let's oh yeah she likes to drain. Let's just try and knock out that Grumples really quickly. And then focus her down. And holy crud, Shogun yeah, is such a monster. <laughs> and all right, that battle went pretty well, actually. No one got knocked out. I'm fine with that. It's looking good so far. But yeah, we're still not done. I don't actually have a Grumples to fuse this item with, but I'll get one eventually. And you guys aren't half bad. I envy your youthful exuberance. As promised, I'm handing over my ageless powder. How kind of you. And with that powder, I'll be able to keep my precious face young and supple. But it's so supple already. Any more supple and it'll be weird. I suppose it's not really your thing, is it? Perhaps another yokai then. Hmm, that anti-aging properties will appeal to an aging female yokai. No doubt someone would be ha- Yeah, if you couldn't figure it out, we're gonna give it a grumbles. Eventually, and we got the ageless powder. Not bad. That yokai is actually really, really strong. Has probably one of the best ultimates in the game. It drains from multiple targets and helps everybody. I don't love the tribe of yokai that she comes from, so I may use her. I may not. I don't know. But we got a bonus scene. So come on, no boo. And oh, I think we've seen this one yet. Oh, there's Jibanyan. Is that a? Okay, it was a bingo. Okay, I was slightly confused by that. We have not been seeing these scenes because I have not done a lot of side quests. And okay, not a bad reward. A serious life. Definitely a nice book to have. If I never mentioned that before, if you sound like a broken record, I could not think. A repeating record? That is not how you say that. But yes, there is still one more thing we need to do in the Hungry Pass. We need to get that yokai that we needed to upgrade our watch. And where on earth is he? Should be right here, right? No, he is not here. Well, we gotta find him. In the meantime, though, let's heal up. I believe he is south of here, so let's just really quickly try and find him, because above all else, we want to upgrade our yokai watch, and I really never found this bag yet. Okay, I'll take it. Free food. It's never a bad thing, unless it's not good food, I guess. <laughs> Think of some foods I would not like to have, and who the heck is up there? I don't know how to get up there, man. I'm sure there's some secret passage I'm just not seeing. But yeah, we're looking for... A little quest icon. It should not be that hard to find. Is he not on here? I'm going to feel like a dunce if he's not. Well, it's not too big of a deal, I guess. But if you remember, we need to find a Timidevil, an Apac, and also... Oh, gosh. What was the third one? Oh, it's bugging me now. But, yeah, okay. He's at the southern cake all the way to the end. This Timidevil is a complete joke. And let's wait, you guys. You're fixing a pickle fight. I ain't scared. Let's do it. Um, you sure about this, young man? This timid devil wants to battle us. Okay. Same thing as before, though. We're just gonna Sultimate your face off, and that'll be the end of that. And I really should try and level up Venox Sultimate, because apparently it's very, very good. And the tribe bonus you get for having Venox out is actually really, really strong, guys. It, like, increases your defense versus Inspirement. And nine times out of ten, the only reason I've actually had a loss in a battle is because of Inspirement. So let's go ahead and use Venok a little bit more. Honestly, I wanted to use him, like, up more often in the final battle. It's just, he's a little bit on the frail side at the moment. But we will be adjusting that in, you know, the days to come, I suppose. But, yeah, that'll do decent damage. Still not amazing. Let's try and focus down the main one, though. And Coleman, come on, man. I know you want to kick some butt. There's some devil butt. I'm not exactly sure what these guys are weak to, but it's definitely not fire. And Oh, I guess it's water. Okay. Blaze is coming through, though, and completely got dodge. And Okay. Got a crit on our spirit attack. Not bad. So let's try and just hasten this battle up a little bit. We still have a lot of stuff to cover in the post game. I'm honestly really happy, though, because I was kind of worried. Like, I like this game so much, and I didn't want it to end. And oh, boy. Infinite Inferno is a whole nother beast. I, I honestly cannot wait to get started on that. It's going to be tons of fun, but yes. We got Technique uh, Rank 2 and 3 on Frostina. No, we even got Hidden Hits from that Blue Orb. I did not even see what book that was. and Might as well get into what that does now. So now at the Flower Road book shop, they're going to start selling almost every single book. So if you need uh, the Perfect Pest, you need Stinking, Get Guarding, Skill Encyclopedia... 
Actually, no, there's one stronger than Skill Encyclopedia, I think. No, there isn't. No, this is the strongest one for Spirit Yokai. The book guy sells them all. And it'll also sell hidden hits. Now, what this does, it increases the attack rank for your Yokai. Yeah, I'm probably going to go into debt buying all these books and maxing out the stats and increases technique level. We could do that, or we can increase Venox Solstament rank right now. Why the heck not? So now it's a green star. To my knowledge, all of them cap out at 10, so it might take you a lot of money. But luckily for myself, I've accumulated a lot of books. So yeah, just keep that in mind, though. But all right. This quest is really, really long. Believe it or not, it's hard to get all the S rank yokai in one episode, but that's okay because there's a lot of post game content. And in the next episode of Let's Play Yokai Watch, we're going back to Liar Road. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. It's been so long farming vampiric fangs, but. Yes, we need to max out our yokai's rank. And in the next episode, we're going to the other sections of the yokai world to battle even stronger yokai. So see you guys in the next episode. Bye.